In this screencast, we talk about static Dask performance reports. As you've probably seen before, Dask has an excellent interactive dashboard. It is useful to help understand performance real time as you're executing computation. However, sometimes you may want to perform some benchmark and share those results with your colleagues, either with your team or maybe with an issue tracker upstream. In this case, it's hard to convey this same information out to that external audience without sharing with them a live session. To resolve that, there is the performance report context manager. You can wrap that context manager around any code and give it a file name where you want to save that file. This will save a version of the dashboard into a static HTML file. The default name is ask report. We'll put it in here just to be explicit. Now, as I run that again, we're now capturing all that information and saving it into a static file. So if we were to open up a new terminal and open that file, we get out now a static HTML file with a variety of bouquet plots included, including the common task stream, profiles for the worker and the scheduler, as well as bandwidth plots if you're interested in communication. This file can then be moved by email or elsewhere, and it survives past uh, your session, your notebook session. In particular, it's common to save this and send it over the internet. If you're comfortable saving information and publishing it online, we recommend creating a gist and moving your file into that gist. Looks like I made two copies here accidentally. And then there are some services like raw githack.com, which are happy to host that file and provide a live view of it. Often you need to provide the raw address. Either of these links will be fine, but now on the open internet, we can connect to that link, we can pass the link around and anyone can see it. So this is quite helpful if you want to share some of these performance results with your colleagues or with other people in the community. Additionally, the same technique is useful not just with Jupyter Notebooks and interactive use, but also within normal Python scripts where you may be running something asynchronously, but you still want to have the report to the dashboard when you're done. So that's it. Uh, we highly recommend using this. Again, we want to share results uh, and when you want to record things over time.